Whatever happened to Whitey, Stanley Fafara of Leave It to Beaver? Stanley Albert Fafara, September 20th, 1949, September 20th, 2003, was an American child actor, best known for his role as Hubert Whitey Whitney in the original Leave It to Beaver television series. His older brother, Tiger, played Tui W. Brown in the series. Fafara was born in San Francisco, California, in September 1949. In 1957, at the age of seven, his mother took him to an open casting call for a new family television series titled Leave It to Beaver. He had been working in commercials and television westerns since the age of four. Fafara earned the part of Hubert Whitey Whitney, one of the Beaver Cleaver's best friends. Fafara remained with Leave It to Beaver for six years. After the show's cancellation in 1963, he attended North Hollywood High School. He became friendly with the pop rock band Paul Revere and the Raiders and reportedly moved in with the band for a time. He developed an alcohol habit and began to use drugs. At his parents' instigation, Fafara went to live with his sister in Jamaica, where he tried his hand at painting. However, he continued to drink and use narcotics. He then returned to Los Angeles in 1972, where he was married briefly. He supported himself by dealing narcotics. In the 1980s, he was arrested for breaking into pharmacies seven times. Fafara was sentenced to a year in jail after being arrested and convicted for an eighth burglary. After his release from jail, Fafara tried several jobs but eventually returned to dealing drugs. Fafara later developed an addiction to heroin and was in and out of rehabilitation centers for many years. He became sober in 1995. Fafara spent the final eight years of his life clean and sober, initially living in a house for recovering addicts and alcoholics, then in a subsidized apartment in downtown Portland, Oregon. He lived on social security checks of $475 per month until his hospitalization in 2003. Due to his addiction to heroin, he contracted hepatitis C. Fafara died on September 20, 2003, his 54th birthday, in Portland, Oregon, of complications from hernia surgery he underwent the previous month. Fafara is buried at Redland Pioneer Cemetery in Redland, Oregon. My life was a blessing and a curse. At one time I had money, there were times when I'd walk around with $16,000 in my pocket. Drugs, money, women, I got all of them because I was whitey, Stanley Fafara. Do you remember that little blonde boy on Leave It to Beaver? His name was Hubert Whitey, Whitney, and he was a school friend of Beaver Cleaver. Whitey was portrayed by the late Stanley Fafara, who died in 2003 under unfortunate circumstances. Sadly, Stanley's story is another one of those tragic tales surrounding the lives of child actors. Stanley Albert Fafara was born in San Francisco, California on September 20, 1949. His older brother, Lucas Luke Fafara II, known as Tiger Fafara, also appeared on Leave it to Beaver. He played the bespectacled Tui Brown, one of Wally Cleaver's friends in the series. Both siblings were raised in Studio City, Los Angeles, and their mother pushed them into acting at an early age. In 1957, Stanley's mother brought her sons to an open casting call for a new family sitcom called Leave It to Beaver. Seven-year-old Stanley won the role of Whitey Whitney, one of Beaver's best buddies, while his brother Tiger was cast as Tui. Tiger played Tui in 18 episodes of Leave It to Beaver from 1957 to 1960. Stanley, on the other hand, remained for the show's entire six-year run, appearing in 57 episodes. When the series ended in 1963, Stanley attended North Hollywood High School. He associated with the pop group Paul Revere and the Raiders and reportedly lived with the band for a while. He also began drinking heavily and using drugs. At his parents' urging, he moved in with his sister in Jamaica. He tried to become an artist, but was unable to stop drinking and using narcotics. At the age of 22, Stanley returned to Los Angeles, where he was married to Rosemary Oswald for a short time. They divorced after having one child, and Stanley hit rock bottom. He supported himself by dealing drugs, and by the early 1980s, he had begun to burglarize pharmacies in order to maintain his drug habit. After his seventh robbery, he was arrested and bailed out by his parents. However, when he was caught breaking into a pharmacy for the eighth time, he was convicted and sentenced to a year in jail. After his release from prison, Stanley moved to Portland, Oregon with a girlfriend and tried several means of employment. 
He supported himself by working as a waiter, a roofer, and a janitor, but eventually returned to dealing narcotics. He later became addicted to heroin and was in and out of rehabilitation for many years. Tom Hallman Jr., a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter for the Portland Oregonian, kept in touch with the former child star. Hallman wrote a profile on Stanley Fafara and described him as short and stocky, with slicked back gray hair and a weathered face. He stated that Stanley had been clean and sober since entering a Portland detox center in 1995 and living at a clean and sober house for alcoholics and addicts. According to Stanley's IMDb biography, he managed to turn his life around and eventually re-established a relationship with the daughter he hadn't seen in two decades. He helped other addicts and even launched a business designing websites with some measure of success. Regrettably, however, Stanley Fafara had already contracted hepatitis C. On September 20, 2003, he died of complications from a surgery performed in late August to repair a constricted intestine caused by a hernia. Stanley passed away in a Portland, Oregon hospital at the age of 54. According to his obituary by Dennis McClellan of the Los Angeles Times, Stanley had been living in a single-room occupancy building in Portland's Skid Row, paying $153 a month for his 12 by 12 room out of his social security disability check of $475 a month. He couldn't work without forfeiting his disability income. Stanley Fafara is interred at the Redland Pioneer Cemetery in Redland, Oregon. The parishioners of St. Elizabeth of Hungary Catholic Church in Portland raised the funds for Stanley's burial. However, since there was no money for a headstone, the grave remained unmarked for 13 years. On June 14, 2016, Father Jim Kolb, who had officiated at Stanley's funeral, also officiated at the blessing of his gravestone. Stanley is survived by a daughter and a grandchild. He also left a nephew, Des Fafara of the rock band Coal Chamber, with whom he had become close during his recovery. Des is the son of Stanley's brother, Tiger. Stanley's older brother, Lucas Luke Fafara, also known as Tiger Fafara, appeared on Leave It to Beaver as Tui Brown. Tiger was born January 3, 1945, and is now 73 years old. After leaving Leave It to Beaver in 1960, Tiger stopped acting professionally. He returned to acting in 1983 when he reprised his role as Tui in the TV reunion film Still the Beaver. He also portrayed Tui in the follow-up sitcom The New Leave It to Beaver, which aired from 1983 to 1987.